What is shaking, my fellow and future podcasters? JLD here coming at you live from lovely Puerto Rico. I was just uh, hanging out with my man Mark and Hannah over in England, and Mark's going to be joining us in just a minute or two here to say hi and introduce himself. But, you know, first and foremost, listen, it is May 16th of 2018 right now. We're almost halfway done the year, which is just one of those mind-blowing things. And it's truly my hope that you've taken your content production, your business, your health, your life to that next level here in 2018. And that's one reason why Mark and I are on here today is because we're going to be um, sharing with you some ways to take your podcast to the next level because there's a lot of things that people are doing wrong with their podcast right now. Um, if you haven't launched your podcast yet, you're going to be able to learn... <laughs> the mistakes to avoid launching the podcast. So you're definitely in the right place for that as well. So whether you're rocking a podcast, your podcast is kind of limping along here, or you haven't launched yet, you're going to learn some incredibly valuable content today. And the best uh, best news is at the end of this masterclass, we are going to have an open Q&A. So you can specifically ask me, JLD, any questions you might have. Mark, any questions you might have. You know, I've got all of this side covered. Mark's got all of that side covered. You know, together we are just an unstoppable team, uh, or I should say, an unstoppable brain of podcast greatness. You know, separate us. You know, we're, we're, we're struggling, but put us together. We're something pretty special. So, uh, looking forward to just saying what's up to everybody today. And specifically, I'm going to jump in the chat right now. We're over 60 people right now, so I want to say hello to Blasco 1313. What's up, brother? Vanessa Roberts says hello. Hey, Vanessa. Uh, we also have E Muckles. Um, or a muckles <laughs> happy Wednesday. How you doing brother Ernest in the house? Yolanda Williams is happy. Uh, good morning. We also have scrolling down. Oh, Mr. Mark Asquith of course is in the house. So uh, he'll be in the chat and I will as well, as well as Kate EO fire Rose in Atlanta is, uh, says, Hey Mark, love the tech support team of podcast websites. So patient, thorough and helpful. Rose, you are a gem. You are truly a flower, and we did not ask you to come on and say that, but thank you for doing so. Uh, we also have Cindy Ann Peterson says, did you know that May is Global Civility Awareness Month and Posture Awareness Month? You know what's pretty cool about that? I've got my posture pillow right here that I'm sitting on to make sure that my posture is just right. <clears throat> excuse me, is just right. So Cindy Ann, I am a big, big believer in posture. <clears throat> awareness, but apparently not uh, choking on my own words here. But I'm a big believer in posture awareness. I usually have a standing desk here as well, which is really important. Um, so I kind of alternate between those two, but I will not just sit on a flat chair. Um, I love this posture pillow. It's so super amazing. Uh, we also have uh, Ch -ch 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 Blasco again says, hi, Patrick McGuire says, fired up. Brent Attaway says, what up? What's up, Brent? Good to see you, my man. Good to see you, Patrick. What's up, people on the sidelines? We have a Kipper, we have Guest 2149, we have Terrence, we have Kim, well, again, we have Brent Blasco, MCO1, James Morgan, James Newman, Derek D, Yolanda, Mike, um, Big Sleeping something, I can't see the rest of the name, but I'm sure it's awesome, <laughs> Big Sleeping something, and uh, Cindy just say, cool, posture is paramount to your future, stand tall to live longer, absolutely, I will stand and sit tall, I'll do both. So um, I saw Mark was over there doing it. You guys will get to meet Mark in a second here. And how about actually we bring Mark on right before we launch into this incredible podcast masterclass on how you can improve your podcast. So Mark, take it away, brother. What's going on, man? I'm at my standing desk. I'm training the calves while we're uh, improving the posture <laughs> as well. I'm getting everything done. So Cindy, I'm with you on this one. And uh, yeah, thanks for joining us, guys. We've got Yolanda in the house. We've got, uh, we've got uh, Rose, James Newcomb, and, and Kipper, who are all members of podcast websites already. So uh, looking forward to giving a bit more knowledge to those guys as well. So thanks for joining us. I'm looking forward to this. Do you know, I don't know if you've seen this, John, but over the last two weeks, there seems to have been a huge, huge push into podcasters needing their own hub and their own platform. Google have just announced what they're doing with their podcast strategy and the ability to make your website podcast ready for Google. And it's just, it seems to be going crazy at the minute. So this is a good time to be doing it. Couldn't be a better time. And I'll tell you, if you don't have a hub, your headquarters, your site, your platform, the foundation of your podcast squared away, you're, you're never going to reach the heights that you have uh, 
that, that's possible to reach. So, you know, I know that I love the fact that my foundation is solid. My SEO is coming in. You know, I know that I have the team, you know, I have Mark and Karen and Ramon and the whole podcast websites team. They got my back. That is such a secure and safe feeling. So I could not feel better about that. Again, just like Mark said, Google came out with that. Spotify, Pandora, they're all making major pushes in the podcasting. You have to have your hub, your foundation, your website squared away. And this is going to be a presentation that's going to help you do just that. So without any further ado, let's dive into today's presentation, which let me scroll on down here. Well, I'll let you know what the agenda is first. It's the seven mistakes that you're making currently, as in right now on your website, in what you should be doing instead. We're not gonna leave you hanging. We're not just gonna tell you the seven mistakes. We're also gonna share with you what you should be doing instead. We're gonna give you a breakdown of the one page that every podcaster underutilizes and how you can leverage it. And I can tell you right now from first and experience, it's the things that we underutilize that result in us losing. We need to maximize what we have, leverage and scale, and we're going to talk about the one page that you are definitely underutilizing right now because every podcaster is, except for maybe Mark and myself. Um, but we're going to get you to that point because you need to be there. We're also going to be sharing why no one is joining your email list or downloading your lead magnet. And let me tell you, if you're not building your email list, your chat bot subscriber, if you're not doing these things, things that you can actually control, then you are really, you know, just putting your arms up in the air and saying, hey, I'm not going to maximize the opportunity of having a full 360 degree well-balanced business that's focused on my podcast. Because by the way, if your podcast is your focus, that's great, but there are things you need to do around that podcast to maximize your opportunity. We're gonna be showing you all those today. We're gonna be talking about why your show notes pages are actually costing you repeat website visitors. And I can tell you, Nothing is more gold than repeat website visitors. Those unique visitors, I'll tell you, they can amount to almost nothing. Those people that just come for a second, they're like, oops, I'm in the wrong place, and they're gone. And we, we like look at the vanity metrics like, oh my God, I got 47 visits today. But if 43 of them are people that have never been there before and will never come back, what use is that? We want your show notes page to make sure that people are coming back to your website over and over and over again because that's where you win. That's where your lead magnets are. That's where your products and services and, and podcast subscriptions are, all of these things. So real quick, for those of you that aren't that familiar with JLD, with myself, with my journey, I'm just a boy from the state of Maine. <clears throat> Excuse me, I grew up there for the first 18 years of my life. There I am at four years old, splashing around in the nice autumn leaves of a Maine fall. There I am at 18 years old, heading off to college. The world was my oyster. There I am at 24 years old as an officer in the US Army. I spent eight years, four active, four in the reserves. That specific photo was of me when I was um, in Iraq during my 13 month tour of duty. And one thing I really want to draw to your attention is the smile in all three of these photos. They're basically the same. You can basically interpose my smile on all three of these photos because I was a happy boy. I was a happy young adult. I was a very happy young adult. And, you know, an adult at there at 24 years old, really the first 26 years of my life, which was growing up in Maine, high school, college, army, those are happy years for me. Those 26 years were great. But post-military, things kind of dropped off a cliff. I turned 26 years old. I thought that I was you know, had the world by a string because I was an officer. I just had, you know, fulfilled my active duty requirement. I went into my reserve time, which gave me an opportunity to, you know, tackle the world. And I just bounced around from corporate real estate to corporate finance to law school. And it just wasn't working. And it was not just like a month or six months. This was six years that I struggled from 26 to 32. I struggled in business and life in general, it just was not a great time for me. Luckily, I had this wonderful idea when I was 32 years old to actually launch a podcast to surround myself with successful entrepreneurs, to interview these entrepreneurs and share their stories, their journeys with the world. And since then, Entrepreneurs on Fire has been awarded best of iTunes. I've generated over 66 million downloads to date. I've built an incredibly huge audience, which I lovingly refer to as Fire Nation. And the business itself consistently generates over $150,000 a month. And now, like, why is that important? Well, it allows me to continue doing the things that I want to do, like interview people, 
um, pull out nuggets of value and value bombs and share them with the world and, you know, be able to do really cool things like build schools in Guatemala and Ghana, which now Kate and I have, have raised almost a hundred thousand dollars for pencils of promise and do some really cool things. When you take the revenue that you're making from your foundation, from your podcast and generate real revenue. And I want to be very clear about this. This all comes from Entrepreneurs on Fire. My headquarters is eofire.com. That is my website. That is my headquarters. That's where all of the greatness that I create starts at. And of course, then it goes out to the world, social media, the podcast, videos, but it all starts at eofire.com. So get your website squared away. Now, some things about Mark. Mark's a lovely chap himself. He founded a global digital agency back in 20, uh, 2005. He built it into a, or he built separately a six figure podcasting business. He's developed web platforms for global brands, including Bosch, et cetera. And that's why when he reached out to me a number of years ago, actually, the first time that um, we started talking about creating podcast websites was over four years ago. And when I learned about his background, about his web development and the platforms he created for these huge brands around the world, I said, This is the guy that can take this idea of, podcasting and creating podcast websites for podcasters and make it a reality. And to be honest, like I had really high expectations for Mark after meeting him and after becoming friends with him and after hearing his background. But I mean, he shattered even those high expectations because he has built such an amazing team over there in England and the States as well, because we have a big support team and that support team is all located all over the world. So we have the Eastern and Western hemisphere covered, which is why we were able to have these great support times and turnaround times on questions that people have um, and additions that people want to make that you know, Rose so kindly shared in the chat, in the pre-chat for those people that were there. Now, what about JLD and Mark? Well, we did officially launch podcast websites back in 2015. It's been rocking ever since. There's actually a picture of us. You can see uh, Pat Flynn sandwiched in between the two of us. That was us at Upreneur Summits, which was just this past fall in London, England. It's a great event that Chris Decker puts on. Um, that was actually the first ever event that he put on in London for Upreneur Summit. He's got another one coming up this fall, which will be epic as well. Um, and who are we? Well, we're podcasters. And that's why we know what was missing in the podcasting world. And we built this. We built podcast websites for people just like us because we know your pain, we know your struggles, we know your obstacles and challenges, and we've created the solution. So what's working in the world of podcasting? Phenomenal question. We have some phenomenal answers coming up. Um, we're going to get very specific, but to be broad and vague right now, everything's working in podcasting. It is literally the golden age of podcasting. I mean, if you had told me in 2012 that companies like Spotify, Pandora, Amazon, Netflix, um, Google, we're going to be focusing this much energy on podcasting, on the spoken word. I would have had a hard time believing it. I mean, I see why now, because it's such an amazing medium where people are listening for so long, so intently as they're weeding the garden, as they're going for runs, as they're driving to work. It's just the golden age of podcasting right now. And let's be clear, you know, when I say everything, you know, there are some things that aren't absolutely crushing it, which is exactly why you're here today, because your website is letting your podcast down. Let me say that one more time. Your website is letting your podcast down, period. So this is where I'm going to hand over to Mark. He has an incredible live class. We're going to be walking through exactly and specifically how and where your podcast website is letting you down. And of course, what we can do about it. So Mark, hope I, I haven't put you to sleep over there. What's going on, brother? Say hello and uh, let's dive into the live class. Oh, I'm never asleep when I'm with you. <laughs> I, I remember when you walked me around London, I wanted to sleep after that. It's like a four hour walk. I was dead, man. <laughs> You're too fit for me. Woo! Anyway, do you know what? I, I said at the beginning, actually, you know, people are, um, are really getting on board with podcasting. You've only got to look at Edison's most recent research. Two years ago, a podcast movement, John, Kate and I, we were there and we saw the presentation by Edison saying that it was around 200,000 podcasts kind of launching and having come up through the ranks. That's kind of doubled over the last couple of years. That has doubled. If you look at voice, if you look at the way that Amazon's pushing into voice, everything is just becoming voice oriented. And Gary Vee mentioned, he thinks that voice is where social was in 2008, 
so we're just at the beginning of this thing, but actually, how the heck do you stand out? How do you make money? John has gone through how he's done it, and we all know that it can be done. So why aren't so many more people doing it? And I think the biggest missing link is that they focus so much on their audio that they forget that they're a brand. They forget that they need to become an audio influencer. There's a reason that Fire Nation exists. John's branded the community. that People love Fire Nation. People love being part of an audience. And do they love being part of your audience? Do they love where they go to feel a part of that audience? And that's what podcasters get wrong. That is what podcasters get wrong. We're all about the audio. We've got to move people into that repeat visitor. We've got to move people into the ecosystem, onto the email list, up through the sales funnel and make that money. That's ultimately why a lot of us are here as podcasters. And your platform is vital, okay? Your platform is vital. And there are seven big cardinal sins that I think most podcasters make, big mistakes. So I'm gonna go through each one of those really quickly, really simply, but I'm gonna give you some fixes. I'm gonna tell you the problem and I'm gonna tell you the fix as well. So if you wanna screenshot any of this, please feel free to do that. So I'm just gonna go ahead and share my screen now. You'll see my screen's just, uh, just down here. So I'm gonna share that. And John, you should be seeing my screen now, man. We should be all clear on that one. All clear, brother. All clear, my man. Okay, so <clears throat> mistake number one when it comes to your podcast. Honestly, we all want to be John. Everyone wants to be JLD because John has done very, very well, and he's worked and worked and worked and put the time in to do this. And this is what most people forget is that eofire.com did not start at this size did not start at this size. It's through work, blood, sweat, and tears that it's got to this level, okay? And mistake number one is that people don't account for that. People make no plan. People make no plan whatsoever. They simply see someone else's site, they want to copy it, or they want to be inspired by it. And what tends to happen is that they try and carbon copy the success that other people have had, and it's the big mistake. Okay, so what we've got to do is actually make our plan. We've got to make a plan for us. What do we want to achieve with our podcast and with our hub, with our personally branded hub? Luckily, it's kind of easy. All we need to do is use something like Trello, which is what I use for all of my planning. Now, this, this is actually a sample Trello board. All of our podcast websites members get access to this Trello board. You can copy it and use it for your own needs as a podcast websites member. But ultimately, all we've got to do is figure out what we want other people to do. So if you think about an Ikea store, if you've been, we've all been to the dreaded Ikea on a Sunday morning, the hot dogs are wonderful, but the, the, the lines aren't. And what tends to happen is that we get guided around this store, okay? We get guided from the living room to the bedroom to the kitchen, and we have a little break at the coffee shop, and then we get pulled around into something else, the, the little throwaway incidentals, the five, 10, 15 bucks items that we just throw in the basket because they're easy, aren't they? They don't cost much. And IKEA have planned the experience and that's what we need to do. We need to plan. What do we want people to do on the website? What do we need on our homepage? So we have to make a plan for it. On my homepage, here's a description of what that homepage will do. Here's a wireframe, like how this is going to look, how it's going to feel. I actually did this one on paper. This is my actual genuine website plan that I did a couple of years ago. And then I need to plan out the sections that I need on the page. How many times have you been to a website that is so full of content that you don't know what to do? So many times. It's not all about masses of content. It's about doing it properly. And if we skip back over to John's site, look, John knows exactly what he wants you to do, start this quiz, get into the ecosystem. Let's get some social proof on there. Okay, and planning this thing doesn't have to be hard. All we need to do is make a note of everything that we want people to do. What is our main call to action? What do we want people specifically to do to get onto our email list? What are the signposts down here that I need? Okay, so that's mistake number one, is that we don't make a plan, but it's very, very easy to fix it. All we need to do, and you can screenshot this, guys, mistake number one is very easy to fix. Create a simple user journey and a plan for the assets that you need 
for your website. John's got some great photography on eofire.com. We've all seen the one where his, where his arm is on fire. We've seen the new image that he's put on the homepage. We've seen so many amazing pictures. All we need to do is get our assets together, okay? This can't be done. This can't be done in a quick shoot from the hip kind of way, okay? So we need to create a user journey and an assets plan. And you can use Trello for this, okay? So go and make a Trello plan. And if you're a podcast websites member, you are going to get access to the Podcast Success Academy. And we've got all the tools and resources that you need in there to make that plan, amongst a thousand other things as well. Mistake number two. John mentioned this right at the beginning. Right at the very, very beginning. The number one page that every single podcaster underutilizes is the About page. Okay, now the About page, I've got one here on the demo site that I use. The About page is usually in the top five of all pages visited on your website, on any given website. It's typically in the top five pages. So why are we not using it? Why are we not using it? Most people do this. And I've creatively named this About Poor. This is a poor About page. Look at it. I mean, this is what most podcasters do. The top, one of the top pages on our website, and this is what we do with it. We put a picture that's kind of maybe related. Okay, this is a design website. That's okay. It looks kind of nice. And then we talk about ourselves, all really inwardly focused. And then we say, after talking about ourselves, we say, give me your personal data. <laughs> We're asking people to give some really valuable data to stay updated with our story. Like, no, who, no one wants that. Okay. No one typically wants that. And so many podcasters do this. It's, they, th they think their about page is a quick fix, and it's not. Instead, we can do something better. Here's one I prepared earlier. I feel like a chef on a TV show. Here's one I prepared earlier. Okay, so this is an about page that does a better job. It's helpful. It tells you what you're going to get. It tells you a little bit about me, but it doesn't give you paragraphs. It gives me some social proof. I'm featured on Time and Creative Review. I am an authority. You can listen to me. It's fine. A very quick background, but here's what I promise to do for you. Here's what people think of what I've done for them. Some social proof right here. A really nice, simple overview of the podcast. It comes out every Monday at 9 a.m. Eastern. <clears throat> the segments include designers interview, Alex's take, and so on and so forth. Nice and simple. Some more social proof. And then instead of asking someone to sign up for updates, we're actually saying, let us help you with something. Let us help you get that first client. Okay. So I'm going to use Kipper McGee as the example. Kipper's in, in the chat room right now. Kipper runs Brandwidth, which is a wonderful initiative to help broadcasters and radio stations do better. The About page on Brandwidth needs to be talking to how, Kipper, you can help radio stations and new radio hosts get better to excel at their job. Okay, that's what the show is about. That's what this lead magnet should do. Okay, so the about page is super, super important. Okay, now you don't have to be fixed to this. I'm just going to very quickly launch Builder here. So this is a, a page builder tool built into podcast websites. It's nice and simple to do this. And I just want to illustrate the fact that this doesn't have to be fixed. Okay, you can come in here and you can just very quickly change anything that you want. It's super simple, super quick. And the idea is that your about page should always, always, always be evolving. It should always be changing. Okay. You should be testing different layouts and different options. Okay. What's working for the audience? Okay. What's getting those repeat visitors? So please don't make that mistake. All you need to do to fix your about page is make it useful. Tell your listeners your why. Why do you do what you do? Add a really quick and easy way to download a quality lead magnet. Tell your listeners when and what you're going to release. What are you going to release and when are you going to put it out there? Add some social proof, testimonies, logos of places that you've appeared. And keep adapting the page. Keep adapting the page. Okay? 
Don't underutilize that about pay because people are looking at it, whether you believe it or not. Mistake number three, <clears throat> we all want to build that email list. We all want to build the email list. So why do we skimp on our landing pages? And again, just like the finest master chef, here's one I prepared earlier. A landing page that most podcasters will create. Oh, I, I'm going to give away my free ebook. Go and get this free checklist. Go and get this thing to come onto my email list. But as a podcaster, I'm not really going to put any effort into helping you do that. That's how most podcasters think. They put something quick together and it doesn't work. It's simply not good enough for your listeners. You owe them more than this. Okay. So you can't just create something quick like this. Download my free ebook. That doesn't help. Enter your email address to download my free ebook. I'll also send you updates about my podcast, blah, blah, blah. What is, what is enticing about that? There is nothing enticing about that. Why would I give you my valuable data? And GDPR comes in next week. If you're working in the EU, you're getting listeners from across the world. This is something you've got to consider. Why would I give up my personal information just for this? Okay. But again, we want to be the brand. We want to be the audio influencer. We want you to be the person of trust so we can do better. And again, this is built using the podcast website's builder tool. Very simple. We have amazing templates to do this. But look, it looks fantastic. This is me telling people, come and download my lead magnet. But here's why. Here's why you should do that. Because I'm going to help you to close your first freelance client. And I'm going to tell you all about the enclosed proposal checklist, the client onboarding process, the template invoice terms, and so much more. I'm going to tell you how long it's going to take to learn these things. I'm going to give you some extras, why your pricing strategy is wrong, why your initial meeting is wrong. And then I'm going to tell you very specifically what to do. Go ahead and secure your first freelance client today. This is what the lead magnet will do. And then we've got a little bit of GDR, GDPR compliance down here. And we're in. Okay, this is better. This is going to convert. Okay, this is going to convert. So your lead magnets are super vital. You can't discount them. You can't discount their importance. But you have to fix this mistake. So again, screenshot time, guys. Landing pages that make people feel. That's what we're going to do. We've got to try and evoke some emotion, all right? We've got to focus on the outcome that people will take. We've got to tell people exactly what they're going to learn, when and how they're going to learn it. And we've got to make that lead magnet so insanely high value that it's a no-brainer to get it. And it has to look amazing. It can't look cheap. It's got to look premium, okay? So screenshot that, guys. Nice and simple. But this is going to increase your conversions onto your email list. I can guarantee it will increase your conversions. Mistake number four, team. Ah, we need to talk about your show notes. How many times do we see show notes? Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and quickly publish a new episode using the podcast website's platform just to show you a terrible example of show notes because so many people get this wrong as well. So John mentioned right at the beginning, repeat visitors are what you need to be focusing on. Okay. So why would I create something that doesn't help people come back? Okay. So I'm going to very quickly add this podcast episode. I'm going to paste in my show notes. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to get my MP3 file and just quickly drag it in to the podcast website's platform. I'm gonna choose a nice featured image, which is here. And sure enough, we are going to publish that. Now, that's all right, isn't it? You know, it's, it's fine, it seems okay. We've got everything that we need there. We've got the title, we've got the show notes, we've got the MP3 file. We do theoretically have everything that we need, but look, when we look at this, when we actually check this episode out, when we ask people to come to our website, I mean, the image looks okay. We've got a nice podcast player and we've got a way to build our email list, but what is this doing? They're just show notes. They're just, it's just text. It's just a really 
kind of lazy way of just ticking a box for yourself. Okay, I've done my show notes, next. What that is not doing anything for a visitor, okay? Instead, what if we did something that is not that much more work, but that is going to really, really encourage people to keep coming back? What about if we did something a little better? What about if we created a custom image for John that was on brand? What about if we used the show notes to actually enhance the podcast episode? So not just two paragraphs on here's what John and I talked about. What about, okay, here's John's quick brief background. Here's what JLD is going to help you overcome. Here are some actionable tips that John gives within the episode. Here are some amazing quotes and links to everything that John is doing, some resources and some timestamps so that when I click, I want to talk about, okay, I want to listen to John talk about the podcast process. Well, I click 1055 and sure enough, in the player, it skips over to the right place. This is just extra value. It's not that much more work, but it sets you apart. It sets you apart. You become a premium podcast provider. So fix your show notes. Get people coming back to your website. Don't just talk about your episode. Enhance the episode. And again, do screenshot this, guys. Develop a structure that listeners will become used to. Go the extra mile to build the experience and make some shareable quotes and assets within the episode. What can people share if they really like it? Okay, what can people share if they really like it, how are they going to refer people to your website? That's what the show notes are about. Okay. Mistake number five, guys. All right, we're closing in. We're closing in. Mistake number five, your credibility. Your credibility, a lot of the time, doesn't exist. Just because you know your resume, you know your history, you know how well you've done, doesn't mean that the world knows. Okay. So let me give you an example of what I'm talking about. If we come to the about page again, remember this about page that I showed you earlier, all we need to do is tell people that we're a credible resource. JLD has got Lewis, Amy, and Gary on his homepage. We know that John is credible, but for anyone new entering the ecosystem of EO Fire, it's not just John saying that he's credible, it's other people of stature. That's what we've got to do, guys. We've got to put some logos here, featured in time, Featured in creative review. We've got to put some te testimony. Louise Matthews here, this testimony. Wow, Louise loves, loves the show. Loves the business. Karen, again, loves the business. Okay? It's all about credibility. And here's a bit of a hack for this one, actually. A bit of a simple hack. All we need to do to fix that credibility is use some of the listener reviews that you've got. We're all pushing for listener reviews on iTunes, aren't we? On Apple Podcasts. And... Why don't we just use those as testimony? Podcast websites has it built in that you can pull those reviews into your platform and use them as testimony. Why don't we do that? Why don't we plan in some actions to acquire some logo assets? So what I mean by that is why don't we go and guest on trade magazine websites, so entrepreneur.com, inc.com. Why don't we go and guest post on those? Why don't we go and speak at some events for free to get some logos on the website to start building our brand assets? And why don't we use some pictures that fit? Why don't we use not those dodgy stock pictures that we see? Why don't we use some pictures that actually fit? Okay. So screenshot that, guys. That is how you fix mistake number five, your credibility. Build your assets. Mistake number six. Right. This is a serious one, okay? This is a serious one. People want to make money from podcasting. They do. People want to make money from podcasting. A good friend of mine once said, you should never trust an overweight motivational speaker because if that motivational speaker doesn't have the motivation to stay in shape and feel healthy, what motivation can he impart upon you? And that is the same, I believe, for podcasts. How can you work with a brand if you don't look like you can work with a brand? Okay, how can you be trusted to work with a sponsor if you don't look like you know anything about it? Okay, 
Let me show you the quick fix for this. All we need to do is create a sponsor kit page for our website. Nice and simple. It feels like such an easy thing to do, but the perception change is huge. It's huge. Okay. The perception of us as a podcast, we change from being an audio creator to being an influencer, to being an audio brand, someone who can command an audience, someone who knows what their audience wants and is in touch with that audience. And all we need to do to create this, again, we've got some amazing templates at podcast websites for your website to do this. All we need to do is build up some simple sponsor kit, okay? So tell potential sponsors what they need to know. When does this show publish? What are the segments? What are the rough download stats? What are the slots for partners that are available? What's the avatar? A very brief description of the avatar. Let's make it easy to get a bio so that if the sponsor decides to do a press release, they just pull this bio from your website. Let's make it easy to give them a logo. We click on this and it blows the logo up. They can save that logo and they can use it in their press releases. Let's give them some promotional assets. Again, download this promotional image of my podcast so that you're making it easy to say yes. You're making it easy to say yes. And then we just fill the sponsor form out if we're ready to work with Design Talk as a podcast. It's that simple, okay? Look, this is not a big page. You just go in the extra mile. So that's how we fix mistake number six. We make it easy. We build a partner page. And again, screenshot this, guys. Please do. We need to add some credibility assets. We need to showcase numbers. We need to describe the avatar in some depth. We've got to show why your audience engages. We've got to add easily downloadable assets for the partners to access and add a simple contact method, okay? Make it easy to work with you. Next, last but not least, if you want to be an audio brand, if you want to be an influencer, if you want to be someone whose spoken word engages people, and allows people to develop themselves and improve themselves based on the content that you're putting out. The first step to that is making sure that you don't make people think when they enter your ecosystem. And I'm going to use a really simple example here. Don't make me think. You're making it too hard for listeners. So if I come back to my sample homepage, I'm new to the website. This is a Design Talk podcast. My designer friend has told me about it. So I'm going to give it a whirl. I'm going to give it a go. We're going to we're going to have a look at what this thing's about. But wow, look at all the content. Don't make me think. Give me a start here button. Click here. And I'm going to curate the best content. Like here's where I believe you should start as a new visitor. I'm going to tell you when the new episode is coming. I'm going to give you a 30 second trailer. I'm going to give you some FAQs on podcasts. Don't assume that everyone knows what a podcast is or how to listen to it or whether it's free. Answer some questions. Remove all the barriers. Make it easy to say yes. And then talk to people with testimony. What other designers are saying? What people like you, the new listener, are saying about my podcast? Okay? And then, of course... A call to action for the lead magnet as well. You would be remiss to miss that from this page. So add a start here page. Add it to your menu and add it to your home page. Nice and simple, okay, guys? So just to wrap that, use a start here page super prominently. Get it dotted throughout your website. Curate the best content from your show and your website on this page, along with some social proof. Add a really short podcast trailer, 30 seconds. Add some FAQs. Don't assume that everyone knows about podcasting and use the page to add your lead magnet as well. Okay, use the page to add, add your lead magnet as well. Now, the situation is really simple, okay? If you want to be a podcaster that has some version of success, whatever that version of success looks like for you, people are going to want more than just your audio. They're going to want to come to a place where they can get to know you, get to like you, and get to trust you. What separates those who succeed from those who don't is the willingness 
to fix these kinds of mistakes. And there are seven mistakes there. Hopefully you screenshot some of those. We can get the data to you. We can get the information to you. But please don't sit on the sidelines. Take some action. Fix those things on your website. Okay. John, over to you, buddy. Mark, every single time you chat, I feel like I learned something even more impressive. And I will say, uh, I love that analogy about the overweight motivational speaker. I mean, if you can't even motivate yourself to stay healthy and in shape so that you can be your best self, there's something wrong there. There's something you got to kind of scratch your head about. So definitely great analogies all across the board. And we do have a bonus, which is bonus number eight. Do you think that they're ready, Mark, for bonus number eight? I think if we just, just tease them into bonus number eight, I think so. <laughs> just a tease, okay. So what's the, what's the biggest risk? What is the biggest risk of everything that we've kind of been talking about today? Like what's the culmination, what's the summation? Not having your own platform is truly the biggest risk. If I didn't have that plat platform that Mark showed a few times, um, if Mark didn't have that platform, if other successful entrepreneurs like Pat Flynn, Amy Porterfield, Lewis Howes, did not have their platform, they wouldn't be nearly as successful as they are. Having your own platform is that key step. Because so many people struggle with all of these things. You know, getting support in an actual straight answer, wasting time on research, finding a theme, a designer, a podcast player, worrying about your podcast hosting costs increasing. You can't even have, you know, if you can't have a fixed cost, how can you really plan for the future? You know, getting a WordPress developer, what if you lose all your stuff? I mean, what a absolute scary, terrifying nightmare. It's just a headache across the board. It's what I had to deal with back in 2012. It's what Mark had to deal with back in 2013. It's why the two of us came together in 2014 and said something has to change. There's a better way, and we know that way, and that way is podcast websites because it is your all-in-one podcasting solution, your all-in-one podcast platform, period. Does podcast websites have website hosting? Absolutely. Podcast hosting, yes. Download statistics. Look at these beautiful download statistics, uh, statistics that we have so that you can track everything you need about the growth of your show. Do we help you publish to Apple, et cetera? I mean, like I'm talking all of the directories. Yes, absolutely. Do we have secure daily backups so you can go to bed every single night knowing that worst case scenario, you are going to be able to have exactly what you have right there as your head hits that pillow. Absolutely. 24 seven support. I mentioned this earlier. That's why I love that our teams in Europe and our teams in the United States, it's this 24 seven support. Our turnaround times are great. If Rose is still on again, she attested to that at the beginning of this chat, a beginning of this masterclass in the chat. Um, about you know just the wonderful, patient, quick, great support that she had through podcast websites because she is a podcast websites member. So again, Rose, thanks for coming on and sharing that personal opinion of yours. Um, here's a quick example. You ask a question, you send it, add any attachments you want, and boom, our team gets it, and the turnaround is quick. Now, is podcast website simple to use? Yes, we knew it had to be simple to use. We were tired with that confusing interface that all of the other people seem to have. What about a built-in podcast player? So people can actually get to your website, press play, and start hearing your voice, your podcast. Yes, absolutely. Here's an example. It's just a simple podcast player right here. Um, Hanny is just an amazing designer that we brought on, and he is just doing great things with this, always improving your podcast player with the lead magnet embedded there. It's just on fire. What about built-in landing pages? Absolutely. Built-in blogging tools? Yes, you need to be blogging as well. You go to our, we our website, eofire.com. Our blog, our posts, they're a big part of our website. What about working on all devices? You know, we're talking desktop, laptop, iPhones, iPads, Androids, whatever it might be. Absolutely. Full video training. So, like, what if you actually want to learn the step by step process through video training and templates and more? Yes, the Podcast Websites Academy is there for you. You will learn so much from this academy. We're compatible with literally everything you can possibly imagine and need. Here's a glimpse of some of the big ones. But again, 
as people come on and they have something that we currently aren't connected with for any reason, um, we make that happen. Here's a great quote, um, sorry, a quote, testimonial specifically from Jeffrey Bradbury of TeacherCast. Your support team during the holiday break was outstanding in moving my podcast network to podcast websites is the best decision I made in 2017. Now, this just isn't some random dude. This is Microsoft's official podcaster. So this is why we're so proud and excited that if this guy, Jeffrey, saw the amazingness of our platform, that we're doing a lot of things right. So without podcast websites, you guys are looking at WordPress hosting at 85 bucks a month, support 99 dollars a month, podcast media hosting and stats fifteen dollars a month, and that goes up as your show quantity and size goes up. So you don't even have a fixed number there. So you're talking at least two hundred bucks a month plus just ad hoc support, um, your premium website if you want one, your time which is so valuable, um, all of that you got to think about. But with podcast websites, my friends, you're looking at. $97 a month. This is a fixed cost. This dollar amount for you, those people who are currently part of podcast websites like Rose and the, and the other people here on the, the call today, and everybody who joins today, you're going to lock in the $97 per month. This will be a fixed cost for you. You will never pay anything more than this. And that's just a great feeling of comfort. And it gets you everything that we've talked about, absolutely everything. We actually have an amazing annual plan, which brings that down to $77 per month. So you actually save $240 per year if you go with that annual plan, which we love people that go because they're just committing, they're investing in themselves and the, in the actual overall awesomeness of podcast websites and their podcasts. So going with the annual plan brings that down even more to such an absolute irresistible no brainer offer. And it's risk free. I mean, you can come on the platform, talk to our team seven days, check it out. If it's not for you, it's a complete money back guarantee. And again, as I said earlier, your investment is locked in for life. Meaning when we raise the price and we will be raising the price of podcasters paradise to $147 and then 197, then 247, we will always be bringing the price of podcast websites up as we build the team out, add better features. But guess what? you will never pay a penny more than you lock in today. And you're never alone. You get a welcome and strategy call with Mark or Kieran, who are our two lead um, development people over at Podcast Websites. You actually have been hanging out with Mark quite a bit as a co-founder. Kieran's amazing as well. You're going to get super simple design tutorials. You can be off to the races with your design. You're going to get optional telephone support when you, <clears throat> excuse me, when you really need it. This is at no extra cost. You're going to be able to jump on a call with a real live human being and talk things through. So just know we got your back. And it's a global support team, the, Euro uh, the Europe, the United States, Europe. We mix it all together. We have people on both hemispheres always there to support you, no matter if you're burning the midnight oil here in the States or you're up at the crack of dawn over in Europe. We got your back and you are never limited. We're talking about unlimited, unmeter podcast hosting. Your cost never goes up as your podcast quantity gets bigger, your numbers. These are just fixed costs. Every place else, you increase the size and length and frequency of your podcast, um, your hosting is going to start going through the roof. Unlimited website visitors, pages, episodes, and blogs. Again, this is all unlimited no plugin restrictions no uh, you know we have premium plugins that are included like advanced seo and, and custom forms um one single flat investment that will never see an increase for you again for future people joining they'll be paying more because we're increasing the price but you will never pay a penny more than you lock in today and you nothing to unlock features or to grow nothing we're committed to just giving you this one flat, consistent fee for life. Now, remember, if you can do it currently on WordPress, you can do it on podcast websites because we're based on WordPress. So a lot of people are going to ask, hey, can I do this? Can I do that? Can I do this? If you can currently do it on your WordPress website, you can do it on, on podcast websites because we base our entire platform on WordPress. Now, we have a lot of people say, well, I already have a WordPress site. Can I move it to podcast websites? And the answer is absolutely yes. We can move your exact 100% site and migrate it over to podcast websites. We can move it over for a simple and very personal one-off transfer in process 
of 147 bucks. So you pay 147 bucks, boom, our team will transfer in your website in the podcast websites, and then you're just going to go forward paying the $97 per month. We have bonuses for you. We have access to the Podcast Success Academy that I showed you a glimpse of earlier. This is where we teach podcasters the digital skills that they need to actually succeed in life. Um, and we do have a special offer for the live attendees that are on here right today. Free and unlimited podcast hosting and stats for life on all monthly signups. You already get that if you sign up annual, but if you sign up for the monthly, you're going to get free and unlimited podcast hosting and stats for life. Now, if you do join today, make sure to use promo code 0516 because today is May 16th and this promo code is only good for you today, May 16th. So use promo code 0516 and you're good to go. You're going to get that unbelievable bonus I talked about right here, which is free unlimited podcast hosting and stats for life. Kate's also going to drop the link into the chat. Uh, maybe Mark will as well. That's just eofire.com slash PW. That's going to take you right to the um, sign up process. And this is actually where I'm going to pass it over to Mark, who's going to kind of walk you through what that sign up process looks like. And then Kate's going to be sending over any questions that you have and that you've been um, kind of conjuring up over the course of this masterclass. And Mark and I are going to sit here and answer every single one of those questions until there's no more. So get those questions over to Kate. Um, I'm going to pass it over to Mark right now, and then we're going to be off to the races. So, Mark, take it away, brother. For sure, my man. Always a pleasure. Now, when you click the button, guys, underneath the webinar, if you go to eofire.com forward slash PW, it's super simple. You're just going to be asked, are you ready to start? Of course you're ready to start. You click the orange button. So the first question you're going to be asked is, what would you like to do with your domain name? Now, there are three options here. It's nice and simple. As a podcast websites member, we will get you a new domain name for free. It's all included as part of your package. So if you know what domain name you want to use and you don't have it registered, you can use this top option. If you already have a domain, don't worry. We can work with that as well. We can point it to our servers and we can make your podcast website live on that domain if you use the second option. Or maybe you're not quite there yet. Don't know what domain you want. Again, that's fine. We can... Add that later, it's really no problem. All we need to do is click the third option, which is what I'm gonna use just for this demonstration. Next up, I decide which plan do I want? Do I want the monthly plan or do I want the better value annual plan? Now, so many people are choosing the annual plan because it does represent insane value. It really is great value. Just so I can show you the discount process, I'm gonna just choose the monthly plan here though. I'm gonna make sure that the monthly media hosting and download stats are included. You've got an option to transfer your website in. I'm not gonna do that for this demo, but if you want to transfer the website, just hit that button, that's gonna be added. And then we've got a bit of a summary at the bottom. All right, okay, so you want the monthly plan and you're gonna add that media hosting on. So that is all set. And then the last step is nice and simple. It's a bit of a checkout process, which you'll be used to on Amazon and all the other websites that you've bought anything from before or become a member of. And this is really important. You remember, as that special offer, you've actually got a promo code, 0516. And if we click apply promo code, we've actually updated the car and the 97 bucks is what you'll pay for life. And then from then, we hit next step and go through the process. So it's nice and simple, super clear. And if you need anything, just let us know. So over to the questions, I guess, man. Let's do this. We got some Q and A. First off is from James who says, with the analytics, do you have the ability to track monetization through sponsor affiliates in the dashboard? Okay, so that's a bit of a double pronged uh, question that one. So we've got uh, we've got the ability to track clicks on your affiliate links, or when anyone visits an affiliate link. So if you read an affiliate link out in your in your podcast episode, yes, we can track the links. When it comes to the revenue side of it, and John, you'll be able to back this up, but that's actually the person who is giving you the affiliate income that tracks the income. Um, so you can track the clicks, and then the person giving you the product will track the revenue. 
Exactly. It's definitely that that is the process and that is the way you want to go to make sure that things are working good on both sides because you want to make sure your affiliate is tracking right. You want to see those numbers on their dashboard to make sure it's lining up with what you're showing. Big Sleeping Dog said, is there an underlying hosting company experienced in media hosting? Do not care who, just want to feel secure. Yeah, that's us. We're experienced in this. We've been doing this for years. We've, we moved into audio, as John mentioned, in 2014, wasn't it, when we had the idea for it? Um, so we've been doing this three, four years now. My background and Kieran's background is that we've been hosting media, we've been hosting video, we've been hosting websites and global platforms with millions of unique hits every single day. We've been doing that for the last decade. So we've got this. We've got all of the processes in place, the systems. So you're in the securest hands on the planet. Don't worry about that. We've got your back. We have a guest that says, what if I have a GoDaddy website and not a WordPress site? How does your program sync up with that? Yeah, that's a really good question, actually. So what we'll do is we'll transfer that in. Uh, it will typically be on this GoDaddy builder, which has just been discontinued, as I'm sure you know. Um, so what we'll do is we'll transfer the content in, and Kieran and his dev team will work with you on what do you want to do with the design? Do you want us to replicate the design for you, but put it on our platform? Or do you want to take this opportunity to maybe refresh it and use some of our tools to customize it? Um, so there are a number of options, but we've got a few people coming into us from GoDaddy because they've discontinued that web builder. So again, we've got you back on that. It's no problem. Let us know what you need. Just add the transfer in to your cart and we'll pick that up with you. Nancy said, Kate, I miss what he said about the domain name if you don't have it they will pick it up for you? Yeah, we can get that. So if you don't have a domain name, you've got two options. At the top, you've got, I would like you to register one for us. So we will register your domain name as part of this package, this process. That's That remains with you. That is your domain name. We just register it for free as part of your membership. If you don't know what the domain that you want is yet, choose the third option and we can add that later. And we can work with you in the academy or on your one-to-one -one call about maybe what the best domain is. Um, so again, we can cover you on that one. But the bottom line is, if you don't have one, don't worry, we'll get that fixed up with you. Big sleeping dog has a follow-up question. He says, I don't know what is possible in WordPress. So sorry. I need a page that is basically a map of the state. Users would click on a state to find businesses in their state they can contact, basically a visual directory index. Well, funnily enough, we've built a few of those in the past. Um, so yes, you can do that. You'd need a, a WordPress plugin or two that we can work with you on. May need a little customization, but that's the point of podcast websites. Our team will work through that with you, that 24-7 tech team that you've got access to at no extra cost, all part of the membership will help you to build that with some plugins and some customization. So we can do that. And Kieran and I actually do randomly, really randomly, have experience building those things. We did some about five years ago. Um, and it's the same process. So yeah, we can cover that. James says, many times in the EO Fire podcast, JDL speaks about having a mentor early on that he spent quite a bit of monetary investment on and even threatened to drop him as a client if he didn't launch. Does podcast websites have something similar uh, that is an add-on um, that is an add-on and he wrote in quotes, personal attention, or is it included as part of the service? That's a really good question. So first of all, if you're a Podcasters Paradise member, you've got all the resources in there. You've got everything you need to create, grow, monetize your show. At podcast websites, from the platform perspective and from those digital skills perspective, that accountability side, we also do some of that in the academy. So we run a live mastermind every single month where you can attend with Ramona. In our forums, we've got progress logs. We'll keep you accountable just to make sure that if you say you're going to build your website and launch the thing, then you do do that. So yes, we've got that and it's all part of your membership. We value that about 37 bucks a month for the academy on its own. That's what it would be if it was saleable on its own. Uh, so you're just getting so much value with that. And we'll keep you working. <laughs> we'll keep you working. <laughs> Tons of value there. And I will say this, um, if you are looking specifically, James, for a mentor, I do have a couple people who I highly recommend as one-on-one -on -one mentors. Obviously, mentors are not free. They're giving you an incredible amount of time, energy, and efforts to help you grow your podcast. But I, I dropped my email in there, john at eofire.com. Shoot me an email. Tell me a little bit more about your podcast. And, um, and if you are able and willing to invest in a mentor, I can definitely introduce you to a person or two. Big Sleeping Dog says, after initial setup, can your team continue to change my website for a fee? Do I need to have graphic designers on my own? Can you give specifics concerning artwork, logo, logo picks. 
Yeah, definitely. So there's three parts of that question. Where do you get your logo and your artwork done? So we can put you in touch with some amazing designers at a discounted cost for being part of podcast websites. Number two, what do you need to do in terms of maintenance? Do we provide that maintenance side of things? We don't do that at an additional cost. It's something that we keep toying with the idea of, but honestly, there's about 1% of our members that ask for it. Um, but we've got all the tools there. It's nice and simple. You all, Really, with the maintenance, all you're going to need to do is put your episodes in there and actually update some of your pages every now and again. When it comes to the initial build of the thing, it already looks fantastic. So we've got courses on how to customize it. It's, we've got quick launch plans for you to get this out in a week or two weeks or three days, whatever you need. Um, so we've got everything covered there. We we aren't an agency. We'll not log into your site and do that for you. But if you want connecting with people that will, we work with people that know our platform, that know our system. We can link you up with those people as well. So either whichever way you want to go, most people will do it themselves, but we can hook you up if you need. Yeah. And like Mark was saying, honestly, you're going to have the exact website created that you want created. And then you have the tutorials to make any adjustments and changes that you want to. It's really going to be a very intuitive platform so that you can make any changes you want. Uh, Big Sleeping Dog says, for multiple websites, would one need multiple accounts? Um, so you wouldn't need multiple accounts and you would just need several websites on your podcast websites account. So you could join as Big, Se Big Sleeping Bear and you would have one website initially set up. If you wanted a second website for something else, you know, maybe an unrelated podcast or for some other kind of venture that's got audio in integrated into it, you would get a second website on that one account and you would get a 20% discount on that second site and the third site would stay the same at that lower tier. So you actually get rewarded a little bit for having second and third sites with us. And we do have a lot of people now after three years that yeah. have done more, more podcasts and have created other businesses. Um, so again, yeah, we can do that. Big Sleeping Dog says, I'm not Big Sleeping Bear, I'm Big Sleeping Dog. Well, you sometimes, I've got a dog, he's called Pete, and sometimes <laughs> you can't tell whether he's a dog or whether he's a bear. <laughs> he looks like a polar bear. I'm totally kidding, by the way. That was all me. Um, guest says, I'm not quite ready for the podcast website, so does this annual payment good only for today? And Mark, I, I can take this one. So yes, this um, is only good for today. This is your guaranteed annual price point. Um, we are going to be increasing the investment in the future because we're building our team out. We're adding some great things to podcast websites. So the price will be who knows in the future. Um, so what it is, when it is, and when you join, that's what you're going to be locking in at. So we're only able to guarantee this price for today. Mark, anything to add to that? No, I completely agree. I mean, we've, we're just working on a pile of new features, got a new brand new knowledge base and video library launching. We've got three new courses launching. We've got some new design tools launching. Everything is just becoming easier and better for people. So yeah, we are reviewing the price constantly. Um, so as John said, I completely back that up totally. Yeah. And hey, you know, the reality is, is whatever price point you're going to be able to join at when you join, it's going to be an unbelievable, amazing value period. Mm -hmm. Um, so, Mark, looks like that's all the cues that we have currently. I've got my eye on the chat if any last second ones come through. But uh, anything you want to say before we uh, say goodbye to, excuse me, our lovely podcast website, Peeps? I think it's just remembering the fact that, you know, you can start a podcast anywhere that you want to start a podcast. But it's about setting this thing up for the future. That's the real kicker. Because, look, podcasting is not where it was two years ago. Everyone is – I'm in the U.K., and people are saying to me, how do I start a podcast? We're like four years behind and we've caught up. <laughs> so everyone is now doing this. What sets you apart is whether you're a brand, whether you're an influencer, whether you have your hub, whether you have your platform. So if you're serious about it, I recommend it. That's, that's as easy as I can make it really. Boom. What else can you say? Um, so my friends, thank you so much for being awesome, for being present here today. I want to give a shout out to some people who are still rocking the chat. We got guest 6152. Thanks for the tutorial. You're welcome. We have uh, Kipper says, great stuff as always. See y'all in Philly. See you there. Kipper McGee. Love that name. James Morgan says, thank you all so much for your time. You're welcome. James Morgan the third. Thank you for the kind words. Guest 7240 says, thank you. Um, well, it will give me the push I need to move more quickly. Just lock it in, my man. It's Nothing's real until you invest in yourself, and then things start moving. I love how that happens. And uh, just a lot of other people saying thanks, and I want to say a um, big thank you to everybody who's in the chat hanging out. And, of course, Kate for rocking the chat, as always, Mark for rocking the presentation, and me um, for just facilitating everything. So <laughs> just give gratitude for everybody for everything. But, um, guys, 
2018, or I should say guys and gals, 2018 is the year for you to get excited about podcasting, to get excited about getting your voice, your message, your value that you have inside out to the world. I, I love to use the word obligated because I really do feel like you're obligated to share this. You know, don't let your fear that is so human to have, you know, don't let your doubts, don't let, you know, your mother or your friends, you know, scare you from doing what you know you need to do. If I did, you know, if I let my my father, you know, uh, run my life, then, you know, I'd be a miserable lawyer right now um, somewhere, you know, in some in some city instead of, you know, here in my dream home in Puerto Rico, getting to just be excited about doing what I do every single day. So just remember that this is your one life. Take the lead, take charge, invest in yourself. And as always, we'll catch you on the flip side.